Oh, here we are. Here we are. So we got a little bit of a different episode for you guys today. It's a special edition. Special edition. So we had a company reach out to us and wanted us to do a uh, unboxing of a smoker kit. Yeah, of a smoking kit. Uh, so who are we to say no? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, so we'll we're gonna we're gonna open it up. I mean, obviously we've already opened the outside box, but we haven't looked at anything else inside of it. So for the sake of not cutting ourselves while we're trying to unbox it, yeah, on camera. That's not a video that we want anybody <laughs> to see. So yeah, so here we are. Yeah. Um, so do you want to start opening it up? Yeah. Um, and I'll talk about it a little bit. So I'm just gonna pull up their their page here. Uh, so this is. Let's see. Hold, please. Well, why don't you talk about what's inside Okay. Of it, since I have to pull it back up again. First off, right up top, there are some instructions. Okay. Um, and we'll probably take some pictures and post some of this stuff so you guys can see these things a little bit more up close. Yeah, and then the, uh, the link to this will be down in the uh, description, too, if you want to get a closer look or buy one. Yep. So I just pulled up their, uh, their store on Amazon. So I may be butchering the name here, but it says visit the Ogery store. It's spelled O-G-E-R-Y. And this is called the Ogery Cocktail Smoking Kit with Torch, Whiskey Smoker Kit, Old Fashioned Bourbon Drink Smoker Infuser Kit with four flavors. Uh, ideal Father's Day gifts for men, dad, husbands. Does not include butane, which you would probably assume that anyway. Right. They can't, they it's can't gotta ship it. They can't ship it that way. So yeah. Fortunately, we have butane here, so we'll have to take a little pause to do that, but yeah um, And the link for this will be down in the description of the video if you guys want to take a peek uh, But just looking at it offhand here. It looks Looks like it includes everything that you need. This is nice that they put a lid on there Because the other one we have does not have it and it's too easy for that stuff to kind of fall out I like yeah. the design of this too. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. Yeah, it's a little you know, it's got a little you know, kind of scalloped edge to it, right? Which is nice. It's a little bit fancier than the one that we have. Um, yeah, it's got some other things here, but I'll I'll talk about those when it actually comes time to smoke right. it. Yeah, so it came with uh, four different wood chips: uh, oak, apple, cherry, and peach. Um, I've had obviously cherry and maybe oak. Um, I'm actually really excited about the apple and the peach because I have no idea what to expect with those. Yeah, so having some like more like fruity flavored uh, wood chips. I think obviously for our purposes, we're using this in our cocktail, the Manhattan, and we're gonna see how these translate over to that. But you could really use this in a lot of other applications oh, yeah. too. Totally. A lot of other cocktails with the apple and the peach smoke, mm -hmm. I think could be really good. Uh, so it's a nice variety. Um, That's a filter by the way. Yeah, so this, well, that actually is a good segue into what I was just going to say. So the nice thing I think about this is that it comes with this removable, removable yeah. mesh filter. Um, and it's, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy duty. So you're not just smoking it inside. Like the one that we have just has a mesh right. screen built into the filter on the bottom. Mm -hmm. um, and you're essentially burning the wood every time you go to smoke it sure. a little bit. So when this thing goes in there, you have this, this is fully encapsulated on the inside. Yeah. So you're really just hitting the metal. And easy to clean too. Very easy to clean. Yeah, so I like that. I think that's a nice little feature. Right. So you have that. Um, and then even with this cap here, it's almost like once this gets on there, you can smoke the chips and you can kind of like cap it off to like keep that smoke right. going downward as mm -hmm. opposed to kind of escaping upward. Right. So they've thought of a couple of yeah. nice things yeah. here. It's really nice. That's pretty cool. Yep. So we've got those. Yeah, so potentially you're using less less wood chips because the smoke's going down, you're not dissipating yep. it up. So And then what very, else do we very have? Very thoughtful. Here? So let's see what else we have. We've got um we would have to read the directions too. Before but. refilling, depressurize first, push the refill valve. All right, so it looks like they give you like a little, um, like a little kit here to help depressurize your butane torch. So I've never seen anything like this. I mean, I usually just use like one of those miniature flathead screwdrivers for right. like um, 
like eyeglass repair kit, stuff like that. Uh, you got a brush here. Uh, the only thing I can imagine that you would use this brush for would be to like, you know, clean out any residue right. in your strainer. Again, we, anything on the inside of the we're box. literally just unboxing this. We haven't read the directions, so we're kind of so guessing at a little bit of this, but it makes, makes perfect sense. Um, this is kind of neat. They give you a little scoop hmm. to, I'm assume, yeah. scoop out your wood chips. Yeah, because what else would you um, use? Again, that's very thoughtful. Well, yeah, you know, I'm used to just kind of like, you know, grabbing a pinch of wood chips and it kind of can get all over the sure. place sometimes depending on how you do that. So that's nice. And it's got a little flower design on it or leaf design yeah. on the top of it. So very nice. I like that. I'll kind of like a, I don't know, brass finish to it. Yeah. Pretty cool. Very nice. Uh, and then, of course, you need your torch. And this is a pretty nice torch. I mean, the color scheme, they match, yeah. which is nice. And it looks like a pretty substantial yeah. smoke kit. I like, too, that it has a base so you don't have to worry about setting down a hot, you know, a hot torch on a bar or whatever surface. Yeah. And uh, it's got your little depressor there. Uh, it looks like it has like a little adjustment valve on the on the bottom to be able to adjust the the Length. strength of the flame. Right. Um, and it even has like a little lock button here. So I guess if you want to start the torch and lock it, and then just be able to hold it and kind of do your thing. Right. You can do that as well. And then, sorry, I pulled these out too. Oh. These appear to be. Whiskey stones. Whiskey stones, yeah. You just throw these in the freezer, throw them in your glass. There you go. Yeah. Easy drink, peasy. Yeah, so if, you, if you're if you one who likes to drink whiskey neat, but you want it to be a little bit chilled and you don't want to dilute it, yeah. there you go. You got your whiskey, you got your whiskey rocks. And then, I don't know what these are. These are, I mean, I know what they are. They're dice. So they feel to be of like bamboo or something, okay. very light. Mm -hmm. Um, these are the only thing in the kit that's a little bit confusing. I don't know exactly what uh, the intention a, is. Added, added a little bonus thing. Maybe, maybe play a uh, a drinking game with them, like high low. Maybe. Yeah. You could do something with them. Uh, but yeah. So there you have it. This is the layout. You got the smoker chips. You got the smoke top with its little strainer, which is nice and cap. You got your butane torch. A couple. Uh, accessories here for cleaning out the strainer and your smoke top, a couple accessories to work with your uh, butane torch, your spoon for scooping out your wood chips, a couple whiskey rocks, and a couple dice. Yeah, very, compre very comprehensive. Everything you need in a smoker kit. And again, very thoughtful, the things that they did with the yeah. this being removable and the top and and I it came it. in this this box here. The box is nice. Um, it's got this shadowed foam in here, so everything came in its own little compartment. It was very, very compact, very well designed. Uh, folds over, and there you have it. So, cocktail smoking kit. Yep. There All right. Go. So we're going to take a little break. We're going to fill this thing up, and then we have something else in mind. So stay tuned. Stick around. A few moments later. All right, so we're back. We are uh, back. We've got our torch fueled up, as you can see. Um, so what we've done in the meantime here, because we want to test out some of these chips and see, you know, see what they taste yeah. like on top of the cocktail. We took one of our favorite whiskeys that we have, uh, this old line, Navy Strength. We made uh, four kind of abbreviated Manhattan cocktails. We've got four different flavors of chips, mm -hmm. and we're going to go ahead and probably time lapse through a little bit of this, but we're going to go ahead and smoke each one of these with each one of the different flavored wood right. chips, yeah. and we'll see how it goes. And we've done nothing like this before. We've smoked cocktails, but we've never had you know four different ones lined up yeah. all next to each other. So this is this is fun. So I'm gonna set these three back here. Why don't you uh, pick one? Let's start with the start with something we know. Let's start with cherry. Okay, sounds good. And go ahead and give me the uh, give me the rest of the kit here, not the chips, the oh. the smoke top. Oh yeah, you're gonna need that. Okay, and this. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and dive into it here. So you've got your your smoke top with your removable mesh strainer. 
And we're going to set that in there like that. We're going to open up our chips. Now one thing immediately that I notice here that's a little different than some of the other kits, you definitely have some, sure, a little bigger, some bigger pieces, bigger particles, yeah. yeah, pieces of wood here. Um, I'm used to having some real fine shredded chips. So the only thing I would say is just kind of be mindful of that when you're filling this thing up. You don't need a whole lot. You only need a couple of you know, just basically enough just to fill the bottom of this thing. Right. Because you need to make sure that you have enough airflow going through it to uh, be able to push the smoke down into right. the cocktail. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got cherry. Uh, we've got our, our chips inside of here. A little spoon came in handy getting them in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and smoke it. Okay. Ooh. And it gets down in there pretty quickly. Heat coming out of there. Yeah, this uh, this torch is no joke. Yeah, you could you could probably almost go with with one one scoop, depending probably. depending on your level and then, and how then much that, you like. So this is what I like. I like having this little cap here. Yeah. Because you can see the smoke was kind of coming out the top. Sure. This just encapsulates everything to keep it kind of going where it's supposed to be going down into the cocktail. Um. Yeah, but this this thing worked out fantastic. Yeah really really good all right so let's sit, let that sit there for a second you know that did its job so now let's go ahead and pull this off and you guys can see I mean, you got a very quickly you got a hefty layer of smoke on the inside of this so i'm just going to swirl it around a little little bit to try to incorporate Look at the way some that's of that smoke. just sitting there i know it's crazy it's really heavy huh so yeah, so, you know, I don't like to inhale a ton of smoke when I no. drink the drink, so I'm gonna blow a little bit of this out of there, or all of it out of there. <clears throat> but, you know, the idea is to kind of infuse some of that smoke into the cocktail, so. Yeah, and depend give it a try first? yeah depending on what smoke level you like, maybe you do more or less time or less chips, but yeah, um, this should be fairly smoky. Yeah, cherry. Yeah, it's dynamite. Really? Mm hmm And you can smell the smoke on it even though, you know, it's all out of the glass. You still smell that. It'd be great if you guys had smell vision Oh, it's really good. Yeah. That's really good. This thing did, really, it did a fantastic job. Right. It, in, in a lot of ways, it's actually better than the one that we usually use. Right. So. Yeah, having the top on there is a really good idea. It's just it's just really well uh, engineered, right? I think they did a fantastic job with it. So, so just the review of the smoker itself and how that functions. Um, you know, these guys really thought of a lot of things. Even the bottom of this is kind of, you know, angled downward, right. so it kind of sits down a little bit further mm -hmm. into the glass itself. Um, sits on there nice and easy. You know, having that bevel on there makes it so that this, it's really, it's going to be almost impossible for this thing to like slide right. off the top of your glass. Yeah, you'd have to knock it pretty hard. Um, and this could fit a wide variety of glass sizes. Yeah. You know, you could do a Collins okay. glass, you could do something like this. Um, you know, our rocks glasses are pretty big. Right. If, if you even had some rocks glasses that, you know, had a larger diameter, this thing would still fit on there really well. Yeah. So... Uh, yeah, so I think for kind of part one of this, just reviewing the smoker and the functionality and all the accessories and everything it comes with. Um, let me see what this thing is. Selling for here. So this kit right now, uh, today, is on sale for $31.98. So it looks like the regular price is $59.98, so let's call it $60. It's 47% off right now on sale for $31.98 uh, at their Amazon store. And you can visit their store, so it looks like they probably have some other products yeah. mm -hmm. available. But, you know, for our purpose, this is what we're reviewing. That's what we're looking at. Right. I would say for $32, this thing is it's a, a, it's a, it's a steal. steal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a steal. Right. Um, the top's fantastic. The accessories all make sense. The butane torch is awesome. 
the variety of wood chips that you get, yeah. I think are really good. Mm -hmm. You know, this isn't really a paid advertisement. You know, we just, they, they did send us this kit to review for free, but we're not really getting any compensation yeah. off of this. And we're all, not, so. uh, we're not going to give you a dishonest review just for the sake of a, you know, 30 some dollar kit. Yeah. If it sucked, we would tell you it sucks, yeah. but it's, it's really good. You know, I like it. The only thing I would say, just thinking now, because this does have that metal insert. It's going to get hot. It could get hot. Um, but most people aren't doing what we're doing. We're not, most people aren't doing one after the other after the other. And if they are, they're probably using the same wood chips. Well, it's already cold. Right. So, um, but that, yeah, so that's that the only thing I would yeah. say that I have to think about. If you go to clean this thing out right after you smoke something. Right. Be mindful that you're yeah, grabbing you're, a metal. You're probably going to get that with anything because, I mean, like you said, you need to make it out of metal so that it, you know you're not burning the wood. So this is it's probably the perfect thing to use, anyways. Yeah, so let's look. You, at that. you just have to be mindful of the fact that okay. it may be hot. Like the wood doesn't even have any char in it. Right. When you pull this out, mm -hmm. there's no char to that wood. Yeah. No, that's awesome. This is awesome. This All is right, an awesome so, kit. So let's move on to the other ones. We'll give you a uh, just a little review of maybe which ones we like the most, which chips. Yeah, so we're gonna fast forward through this stuff, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the other three chips that we that the kit included, and the other three cocktails that we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke those with each of those three additional wood chips, and just to see if it makes a difference. And uh, we'll come back and give you guys a little give our thoughts on that. So sit tight. All right, so we just did the peach. And I went to remove the metal filter and it's hot as all get out. So yeah, I don't know how long it needs, maybe a minute or two for it to cool off, but definitely be aware of that. It's just chemistry, physics, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Einstein. Einstein. All right. So, so got... again, this is the one I've been really wanting to try the most, peach. I've never had anything smoked with peach wood. Yeah, so all I'm doing here, while the smoke's still in the glass, I'm just kind of swirling it around a little bit to try to incorporate that smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It you, does have a different smell to it. And you may find that this may be too much smoke for you, but you know, we're just we're experimenting too here. Oh, very, very different. I was about to say, if you say it's very woody. <laughs> that actually tastes like a peach. Does it really? Yeah. That's surprising. <clears throat> right? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see if I can touch this thing now. Yeah, I can touch yeah. it. Yeah, so you just got to give it, give it a minute. No, yeah. no big deal. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to empty out, refresh, and then we're going to move over to the oak. All right, so we just did the oak. And one thing I just thought about with this nice little bevel on here, you can actually just kind of swirl your drink around with the top still on Finger the glass. Yeah. And you don't lose any of that smoke. None of it's coming out. It's nice. It's real nice. It's real nice. All right, so I'm going to take that off. Uh, one thing, so one slightly negative note, um, it's not a deal breaker at all, but the adjustment knob on the bottom of this to adjust your torch It does, it does adjust the torch, but it really doesn't do much. It's not a fine adjustment. At it's, all. Yeah, it's like hit so or miss. this thing does, this flame does come out of here pretty seriously. That's right. So just be careful. Of I had a full head of hair before we started this. Um, but yeah, so here we go. We've got the oak. It's been swirled around a bit. Get out of the glass. I feel like the guinea pig. Why are you handing it to me first? Do the honors. Yeah. I don't know. I'm always doing the things first. So you can do them first. Very woody. No, I'm not. I'm being serious, though. It, okay. You know, I'm not getting, obviously, any of the, the fruit that you did with the first two, the cherry and the peach. This is just wood. I, I like it. I like it a lot. It is. This is good in a Manhattan. Mm-hmm. You still smell it a little bit. This is like more of a traditional oak and cherry. I think are probably two of, of the more traditional right. smoking chips mm -hmm. that are used. Um, but yeah, so you can definitely tell so far between the cherry, the peach, and the oak. 
there are three distinct yes, very, flavors very that they much impart so. on the cocktail. Yeah. So, all right, uh, do a little more editing or something, and we'll be back with the apple. So all right, so Todd's going to uh, Todd's going to do the last one. So the last one that we're doing is the apple. I'm going to hit it while he's talking. Well, no, hold on. Oh yeah, you know what would help? Let's start if you over. You want to smoke, smoke applewood chips? Have some applewood chips in your smoker. My assistant didn't do very well. So you did a. You got to uh, hold Todd's hand sometimes. So much I can say about that. <laughs> All right, there you go. I'll so hand me those. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, son. All right, so this is apple. Apple. And we did adjust the flame down a little bit, so it's not quite the inferno that it was before. And one thing I found is I like to kind of hit it twice, just like Todd's doing. All right, there you go. So your cap on. That's so cool. That it cap is. is awesome. Yeah. It keeps all that smoke from coming out and kind of keeps it going into the glass. This is a cool little kit. It is. You guys already know how well Todd stirs drinks. He can swirl drinks pretty well. That's right. I do it whether I'm trying to or not. Yeah. Yeah, and this little brush in between came in handy. Gets everything out of all those little yeah. nooks and crannies nooks of the mesh. Crannies. Whoops. So, I think that's good. Okay. So. Turn it off. In, oh, in, you want me to do it in first? The, in the spirit of passing it off to the next guy. All right. Let's swirl it around a little more. So what do we have here? Apple? Yes. All right. So while I'm swirling this, another method is to smoke your glass before you put right. the cocktail in. Um, mm -hmm. Kind of gets a layer of kind of that smoky flavor on the out on the rim of the glass, right. the, the base of the glass, and then you can pour your cocktail in. So that's a whole other thing. Um, but there are multiple methods that you guys can use to smoke. Well, and it, I think a prop, popular trend right now is people buying planks of different types of wood and smoking it. You know, lighting the planks on fire. Oh wow. That's really cool. Is it? Yeah, give that one a try. I like cool. That's really good. That sweetened it up so much. It did. It's a huge difference, Unreal. especially coming off the oak. Yeah. So, I mean, to be completely honest with you, my two favorites, maybe it's because we do cherry and oak chips all the time yeah, when yeah. we smoke things. My two favorites are the apple and the peach. Probably my favorite is the peach. Right. Yeah, because you're getting what it actually is. You're getting the flavor of... Yeah. The fruit. And we're using a high proof whiskey here. Right. So having something like that to add like that level of sweetness mm -hmm. has been really good. Yeah. So I, I don't know about you, but I'm very impressed with this kit. Yeah. No, I think these guys did a great job. They thought of a lot of things. Um, the smoke top is uh, very well designed. The cap, the mesh strainer, kind of that beveled bottom with you know with this ed with this edge here you know it makes it so that it's really not going to slide off of right. anything yeah it's going to fit a large variety of glass sizes yeah um, if you're trying to put it on something bigger than this i don't know what the, what you could almost put that on a uh you know well a hold, base hold on you know so we have we have these coops and i talk a lot about how i think our coops are probably a little bit big but it fits on there yeah. perfect mm -hmm. it fits on there just fine um yeah, so they've, they've you know, thought of everything. We have, we use Collins glasses sometimes. Fits right on top of that. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is pretty cool. Even if you wanted to like build a cocktail in a, in a mixing glass, smoke it in there. Right. It fits in there just really well. So yeah, you know, I would, I would highly recommend this kit um, I feel like the price is very reasonable too for for what it is. It is yeah. the one that the one that we use is a uh, is probably one of the more well known um, smoking kits out there, and I think that this thing really outshines it yeah. in a lot of ways. I agree in a lot of ways. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of our review of uh, the smoking kit again, the Ogery store. I might not be saying that correctly, but the link will be down in the description. If you guys are looking for a smoking kit, I don't know how long it's going to be on sale for the price that it's on sale for right now, but... Buy it now, buy it now. Even for the full price, 
everything that it comes with is still a value, right? For sure. Mm-hmm. And for the price that it's on sale for right now, that what was it, thirty-eight bucks or whatever, a little under forty bucks. I can't remember what I said. Um, it's a no-brainer, right? Absolute no-brainer. So uh, check that out down below. If you guys have any comments or any questions about any of the stuff that we reviewed here in this kit, feel free to leave us a comment. You know, we'll answer. And uh, well, ironically, you. You guys can't see the back of the box, but at the very top it says, do not touch flame nozzle while in use or until sufficient time has passed for cooling. So yeah. read the top line. Um, yeah, it's metal, it gets hot. Yeah. Yeah, this is really good. But anyway. We, we like it. So that's our review. Uh, Odry Store smoking kit. I mean, you know, we don't really give these things like reviews, but I would say this thing is like a, like a 12 out of 10. It's fantastic. 12 out of 10. Yeah. Okay. So check it out. Guaranteed and, uh, 120%. Guaranteed. 120%. <laughs> I see your, I see you did the math there. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so that's what we got. We're the Manhattan Project. That's a review. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace out.